Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Crawford Jones. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft finished its nine-year trek by Pluto to make the closest approach of any spacecraft ever to the dwarf planet. Afterwards, astronaut Scott Kelly congratulated the New Horizon team on their accomplishment. From the International Space Station, I'm sending my heartfelt best wishes and congratulations to the New Horizons team. When New Horizons launched in January 2006, the space station was less than half the size it is today. A little closer to home, Kelly helped launch a series of 16 nano satellites outside the ISS. These Dove satellites were launched from the NanoRax CubeSat deployer outside the Japanese experiment module and allow for images of the Earth to be taken on a consistent basis. This enables the ground control team to help with disaster relief or monitor the environment like deforestation and the polar ice caps. It can also help improve crops in developing countries. While that was happening in space, a new trio of space station crew members arrived at the Baikonur Cosmodrome to finish mission preparations as they get ready for their trip to the orbital outpost. Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, Japanese astronaut Kamiya Yui, and NASA astronaut Chell Lindgren made their way to Kazakhstan to prepare for their Soyuz launch next week to join the Expedition 44 crew. For coverage times, check out nasa.gov slash ntv, and you can catch all of the action live on NASA TV. This week's Twitter question comes from Evie, who wants to know, what is the humidity inside the ISS? Well, Evie, great question. While it can change from module to module, inside the space station, the temperature is on average 23 degrees Celsius or 73 degrees Fahrenheit with around 40 to 50% humidity. But that can change. For example, if the crew members were exercising around the same time, then that would actually change the humidity in that node and cause it to be slightly higher. Make sure you keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag SpaceAground. We'll see you next week.